The Aro Vorohori presentation at the 7-day 2018 Farnborough International Air Show was very successful. Both press conferences that took place at the Aero stand in the center of Hall 1 were full and were an indicator of the great interest in Aero key products in the jet trainer aircraft and light combat aircraft industry. Journalists at the first press conference on July 17th witnessed contracts being signed between Aero Vorohori and Skytech from Portugal and RSW Aviation from the USA. Both companies are customers of the L-39NG and provide pilot training for military forces. Skytech is interested in 16 L-39NGs and RSW Aviation in 12 L-39NGs and 6 L-39CWs, which is an existing L-39 with a new engine and avionics. Both companies also showed interest in a new concept of pilot training. The next day, July 18th, Aero introduced their new light fighter attack aircraft, the FA-259 Striker. It is a project between Aero Vorohori, the producer of the famous combat aircraft, the L-159 Alka, and Israel Aerospace Industries, the world leader in avionics and defense system technologies. The FA-259 Striker is different from the L-159. It benefits from a wet wing, an integrated fuel tank. All this provides greater maneuverability and at higher range. It's also possible to upgrade the aircraft to an air-to-air -air refueling capability. Fourth generation avionics has an open architecture concept allowing for future updates. So Aero Vodohodi is very familiar with making very good platform. And we have a very good high technology, including the avionic systems. And always we are uh, making research and development and preparing a new application for the pilots. So we saw that the capability on this aircraft, the uh, FA-259, we can make it a kind of uh, synergy. The uh, 259 is uh, basically an upgraded L-159, which Strachan flies quite often. Uh, we fly daily in the L-159, and it's very good to fly, very safe to fly, very easy to fly, which allows the pilot to manage uh, the sensors in the aircraft, which uh, the easiest airplane I've ever flown is the F-35, and the second easiest airplane I've flown is the L-159. And that allows the pilot to focus on the mission, which is what you want the pilot to be able to do. So uh, I think it's excellent. And having the new avionics with IAI, it's going to be even better. So I'm excited about that. 